Kate actually remains one of the few personal prerogatives of Her Majesty the Queen to appoint her new Prime Minister. She doesn't uh, need to consult or act on advice uh, of, of government ministers. Uh, one of the requirements is, of course, to find someone who can command the confidence of the House of Commons, which is usually the leader of the political party uh, with an overall majority of seats in the House of Commons. And now, of course, Liz Truss ticks all those boxes. So at about 11.20 today, we believe, Boris Johnson will arrive here at Balmoral Castle to formally tender his resignation uh, as Prime Minister. And then at about 10 past 12, uh, the new Conservative leader, Liz Truss, will arrive and the Queen will formally ask her, invite her to form a government in her name. And then the court circular will record that the Prime Minister kissed hands on appointments. It's not kind of literally a kissing of the hands. It's more likely that that will happen at a perhaps a Privy Council meeting a little bit later on in the f- future. It will be pretty much a a handshake but it's the first time the Queen has actually appointed a new Prime Minister at Balmoral. It usually happens at Buckingham Palace. We believe the original plan was for Her Majesty to interrupt her summer break and make the around a thousand mile round trip back to London to appoint her new Prime Minister but plans changed last week and that is uh, as we understand it to provide certainty for the Prime Minister's diary. We know that Her Majesty has been suffering from uh, mobility issues recently and I think the idea was, according to a source, that if her plan had been to travel to London and she woke up this morning and was struggling with her movements, then last minute plans would have to be made for the Prime Minister to travel up to Balmoral uh, to be appointed. Now, it's not without precedent that, uh, uh, that, it, that this, this kind of ceremonial event happened uh, not at Buckingham Palace. The Queen's great-grandfather, Edward VII, actually appointed one of his Prime Ministers in France because he didn't want to uh, interrupt his summer break. And Alec Douglas home, the Prime Minister in 1963, uh, tendered his resignation from his hospital beds because he was too ill to travel to Buckingham Palace to see the Queen. Now, there's no constitutional reason as to why the Prime Minister can't be appointed at Balmoral rather than uh, Buckingham Palace, but this inevitably raises questions about the 96-year-old monarch's health and her ability to travel. Hey.